burning the candle at both ends a little bit. But once again, I would say this to anybody listening, burn them. Good morning. I don't have earbuds, so I hope we're good here. I can hear you fine. Okay. Man, I have I have like low water pressure. And <laughs> and so that everything took twice as long. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> So we have we have infrastructure issues here up and down May Avenue when they put in the water system. Um, mm -hmm. They did it on cheap. Hey, what a shocker! <laughs> oh God! The lowest bid is not always the best bid. I know there are so many times where I look at these requests for proposals, and one of the primary criteria is cost, and I'm like, oh, dude. <laughs> you well, so here's the thing here. There, part of it makes sense because if you were going to start a business in Oklahoma, you can start really cheap. And that's kind of the, the lure to get people in. Mm -hmm. The bad thing, five years, you're replacing all your stuff. And yeah. but if but if you go broke, you went broke cheaper than if you if you did it expensive, you know. So I I, I get it, but I don't get it. So. Penny wise smart, pound wise foolish. <laughs> Tripping over pennies, no, tripping over dollars to get the pennies. Oh. So, uh, what's up in your world? Mine, mine's very interesting right now. Mine is just hot as hell right now. Ninety-five degrees. <laughs> yeah. You do not make me want to visit a place that does not have a hundred percent air conditioning, like Dubai. <laughs> See, there are a few. Like someone, was, I was talking to a couple of friends who were all planning to come here, and I was giving them that like the months they can visit <laughs> where they wouldn't mind the weather rather than show up in the middle of summer and look at me. And I'm like, I'm not going to help. <laughs> Are we on the same, uh, on the same deal? Cause like this morning it's 40 degrees here and it's 85 there. So you're 95, I mean, 90. Oh shit. I'm not coming to visit you. Wow. <laughs> no, I, that's, that's out of my league, my friend. I, See, I Sean, understand it. A lot of yes. times, say it's been almost what 15, 20 years that I've lived here on and off. Right. I've always had this aquarium in this house without anyone yeah. having to worry about the water getting overheated for the tropical fish. Okay. The reason why, when you text me, I was like, just take your time. I'm still handling something. The water was like uh, 86, 87. And the fish were all gasping for air. And I was like, what the hell is going on? And people keep telling me, no, no, the weather is the same here. And I'm like, no, you idiot. <laughs> I wouldn't have extra work then. <laughs> God, that's a weird take on climate change right there, that you're literally cooking your fish, poaching mm -hmm. it slow, poaching <laughs> it. <laughs> it served with a vanilla beurre blanc, sir. <laughs> wow. That's nuts, man. Yeah, the solution for this was I did look up online and they had like, uh, for warmer countries, they apparently sell cooling units, which is basically a refrigeration unit, Sean, that runs water from the aquarium through it and cools it down and puts it back. And I was like, oh my God, why is my hobby become a burden? <laughs> oh, fish. Mm -hmm. Literally. Wow. <laughs> God, man, dude, that's crazy. So Tell me what's going long... on in your world dude, since you have. Oh, well, I can fill 20 minutes with that. So let's find out this. When is the good time to visit over there? So usually I tell people to come to at the end of October all the way to February because it's our winter. The winter. Day... the winter. Yeah, our daytime temperatures are like 28, 26. Our nighttime so... temperatures are like... <laughs> Or 80 here. Right? Yeah, it'll be around like 18 to 23 in the night. Right. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so the October, that's a ways away. That, mm -hmm. that might work. That might work. I still have a valid visa. I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> Destiny, Destiny broke a spring that holds her liver in place. So we have to have a spring fix before I can go anywhere. That's, that's the hold up. I can I tell you the weirdest thing? I was actually reading about that <laughs> the other day where um, it's a part, I think, of your diaphragm and another couple of, it's actually just strings <laughs> the way you mentioned it. Because yeah. 
there are certain people when like certain sports injuries would make that move up and down and that causes you to come in and out of consciousness when right. it goes too low because the system's right. not having enough pressure to push blood throughout. It's oh, so odd that you asked me about it because I was like, shit, I just read about this like a week ago. <laughs> Well, she got in a bad car wreck, as you know. The audience doesn't know, but uh, and they mm -hmm. they have packing springs holding her organs in place, and she gets around totally fine. But it's really weird: packing foam and springs. So, hey, you know the guy driving the packing foam truck. Don't make fun of him anymore. He has life saving stuff. <laughs> okay, man. So here's my here's my uh, here's my crazy life right now. So yesterday. I was on ABC Nightly News with David Muir, which may not be a big mm -hmm. deal to anybody, but here, 20, 25 million viewers, many of them. Yeah. Um, and uh, that one was pretty good. It's a good story behind it. But then yesterday, the ultimate weird day in the life of Sean Cummings. So I did a podcast with CNN, and I don't think they're mm -hmm. doing like a video story, but they're doing, I'm going to be on the thing called Five Good Things. Should be out on Saturday, and if it's not, it'll be out next Saturday. Nice. And then Fox News, my people, not really my people, I'm joking, um, got yesterday and I interviewed with a guy, but they're only doing digital writing on that one. They're not showing me on anything, you know, as might be predicted because mm -hmm. of my affiliation. So I, I can't think of Kami on there giving away money to help feed the children, you know. <laughs> I don't want to be a douche, but uh, I, I think it's possible there. Um, See, there is a recently, it was a clip from John Stewart that I sent you where it was something along these lines about a news story where they were complaining about, I think, welfare and feeding people. And it cuts to Stewart, and Stewart is like, you nutrition seeking motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. So the only people I've had be negative to me, and there's there's been a few, you know, I mean, you, you get, no matter what, it's the internet mm -hmm. for God. And if you're on Twitter, no matter what you say, half of the bastards hate you, half the bastards love you. Yeah. Um, and people are like, well, where are them deadbeat parents? And you go, well, if we could find them, we could ask them. But in the meantime, this young <laughs> child doesn't have anything to eat. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, they, some people just don't give a shit. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So um, the, the deal's gone. I mean, obviously, it's blown up like I, I thought it was going. I thought it was going to blow up. Once we first got started in it and the news coverage we were getting, I'm like, uh, this thing's going to go national. Um, and then, you know, and it's just for some reason or another, my life right now, uh, the stuff I keep touching keeps blowing up. So how does that help us on viewership? That's the question. How does that help? I know. We're <laughs> <laughs> That's the that's the meeting to have somewhere. Is how do you capitalize on it? the whole reason that people are interested? Because there's no money involved. You know, you mm -hmm. give me money and I get kids, and it's real simple. And so they like the fact that it's real simple. It's yeah. hard to argue with. Guess you just go on these shows with a T-shirt of Sean Cummings Irish pub one day, then the next interview. <laughs> Almost none of them um, list politics or you know what i do for a job the vice mayor and none of them um really list that they say that i own restaurants i guess something like that maybe maybe on the more conservative channels especially owning a pub means i sell liquor oh i do jesus christ that. i forgot about that <laughs> <laughs> sean but i'm still waiting for you to yeah. get a call from the late show with seth myers because they do, they do a bit in that show, which I've submitted your shit for, where it's basically, this is the kind of story you need right now, where he talks about all the horrible shit in the world, but then he cuts to a segment called, this is the kind of story you need right now. <laughs> I mean, so get a call, fun. let me know. <laughs> I, 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 will, I will do that. So what happens is, so like the Fox News guy went to my official government email address which i never use i mean mm -hmm. i'm at the end of her so like i was replaced yesterday but i have one more meeting to go to um mm -hmm. and so i don't check it so i i don't even well truthfully i don't know what day he texted me or wrote me but but yeah it's it is surreal 
And what I would tell people is, hey, man, enjoy it while it lasts. It only lasts about a month. I mean, if you ever get this kind of hit on something, mm-hmm. roll with it. Um, I mean, I, I don't do anything any different. I just go into the schools and then head out and write my checks and stuff. But it, uh, yeah, it's, it's so the, the, the one with ABC News, though, I'm driving to a school called Tuttle, which is about 45 minutes away from here. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I get a text from my local news station, who I I know all of them from my political stuff. Yeah. Um, and she goes, hey, ABC News was looking for your contact info. Can I give it to him? Which I thought was amazingly polite. But why would you not? You know? Yeah. <laughs> so I said, but I'm going into the school in a minute, so I won't be able to talk to him. Just let him know if they need me to call him back. I will. And that guy calls two minutes later. He's like, you're on your way to the school right now. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. So after he figures out, I understand the lingo. He gives me a shot list and all this other stuff. I sent everything iPhone to iPhone, and it was on ABC National Television five hours later. Oh, wow. Nice. Eh? Yeah. That's some quick like, turnaround time, right? Compared to like <laughs> days. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. So nobody out there be impressed. All of it was shot on an iPhone. And and my dog was with me the whole time. And I, one of the shots, I'm sitting there talking, and I don't realize my dog's head's hanging out the window. And she's, she's <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, I have new no newfound uh, friends or anything. No no good looking people have come to see me. Nobody's wow. asked for an all. Yeah, all that shit. They go. That's just so sweet. Your wife must have been wonderful. Nothing about me. Just <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> Well, it's weird to think about people that if, that actually listen into this every week. They've gotten to see this whole thing come together and fold out. It, it yeah, it's. I mean, it really is. It's different, and and uh, so the difference in the news organizations on the interviews. This is fascinating. Fox guy, all just when did it start? When did it finish? Oh, I'm sorry, your wife died. I'm, I'm not sure he said that. He said, "When did your wife die?" Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And and then had the date wrong. And I'm not making fun of him. You've been in, you've done this with the BBC. I've done it with cable news here. And you're just like, hey, man, those are facts. You've got to get right. You're, I know. Can, can I tell you, those are the times where you would even see the anchor look up at the one guy's job it was to research this shit and go like, you bastard. <laughs> I will see you in 12 minutes and 32 seconds. <laughs> um, so the difference in the interviews from this young girl who I believe was Italian on CNN and had just a whole different take because she mm-hmm. actually understood her wife's background. Isn't uh, that weird? Mm-hmm. And so when I, you know, say, oh, you know, the Italian mom stuff, oh, God, you got to just feed him and feed him and feed him and feed him, you know, that kind of stuff. You think of from an Indian household, you go and everybody's got to give you stuff. You know who's that way as well? Persians. Yeah. Persians stop feeding you i don't know what the deal is they're all skinny and beautiful but they won't stop feeding anybody else <laughs> sean if they don't like you they won't give you a shit trust me i know this <laughs> <laughs> they probably do like you that's the thing <laughs> that's valid that is that that is pretty valid so um i'm enjoying my newfound nothingness so um so I'm I'm in the middle of splitting my house into a duplex now and so i can rent out one whole half of it and i'll live in the other half and so I'm, I'm putting it. Yeah. That's my solution to I don't want to move because I'm too. I don't know what the deal is, man. I don't like moving. I just don't like mm-hmm. it. Yeah. So I'm I old closet and I'm turning it into a shower. And I and so I it was late this morning because I'm sore because <laughs> I'm building a shower. <laughs> are you are you yeah. seriously doing all the demo work and the rebuild all yourself? <laughs> You know, you know my cheap ass. I'm not hiring anybody. To, I did hire the plumber to come in and run the uh, the run the water through. That's something you don't want to screw with because if it, you get a leak inside of a wall, it will cost you tens of thousands of dollars. Pay somebody a grand to run that stuff through, and then you have to repaint the walls that they worked on. It's no big deal. Mm-hmm. Um, but so far, I've, I've got I've got the actual floor in and all that stuff, and the drains all work, and I've got water in it. So now you're you put up this stuff called cement board. Yeah. And then kind of like blue gluey coating, which waterproofs everything. And then you tile oh. it. Nice. I've only done uh, three or 400 of these. So in my life. <laughs> in my, mm-hmm. 
this is where I didn't like my father in the least bit, but my God, he taught me a whole bunch of stuff and, and mm-hmm. saves, has saved me at least a million dollars of my life in construction costs. Yeah, you don't but think did, about that, right? Eh? Well, you, you know, that was his that was his job as a parent. He didn't, mm-hmm. they were nobody close to anybody back then. I'll guarantee you, your dad was the same way. They didn't have anything to do with you. They were like, why are you bothering me? I am working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you, like, I don't, I don't even like can picture like those conversations where I see like nowadays, even on a, like in the movie or something. Where the kids just casually chatting with the dad, and I'm like, "When did this happen?" <laughs> yeah. So, oh, isn't that sweet? And I'm like, I don't even know what that is. What is? <laughs> yeah, my conversation was get this done right now, or or else, you know, whatever the or mm-hmm. else was. But I I can honestly say, from that perspective, that grumpy old dude did produce seven people that can can produce stuff. Now, only one criminal out of all seven. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Those are great odds. Yeah. Yeah. You know, hey, if, if you got a number of seven. Sean, in Kevin's world, he's still a rock star, so I don't know why you keep shitting on him. <laughs> uh, I, I wish I was kidding, but you know that's true. Yeah, even as yeah. a criminal, he's one of the best criminals I've seen. <laughs> But he's really not. He's not that good at it. He's really just not. That good at it. And maybe the others I've seen are just dumber. <laughs> so, um, so that's all I've got. I mean, truthfully, the uh, my, it's weird because you think you get this wave of all this publicity and this stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's changed my daily activities in the least bit. And I, I mean, literally nothing. What is that saying? 15 minutes of fame? Or was it 15 seconds of fame? Minutes, right? Andy Warhol. Yeah. And and uh, and I've had it before. I mean, God, I had it six weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And, and that, one, that one was bigger because people were calling me from all over the world on stuff. I don't know. Um, and look, I don't mind. I have to be honest with you. You know, if somebody calls me crying from Amsterdam because I did a speech that, that was about them and mm-hmm. gave them a little respect. Uh, I'm good with that. They weren't bothering me. What yeah. What do I have so important that I can't listen to somebody from another country speaking broken English, just trying to say thank you for something I did? You know, I'm, I'm totally down for that shit. I got five kids wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you know, uh, it's an interesting, it's an interesting dynamic right now. Um, and that doesn't mean it all doesn't turn on me. And that's what I would tell anybody in the audience. Oh, this shit always turns on you. You don't, you don't get all these highs without somebody coming in to, you know, mm-hmm. you remember the Australian term tall poppy? I've probably outgrown the other stalks. So somebody's going to come try to cut me down. Oh, hell yeah. It's bound to yeah. happen no matter what it is. Eh? <laughs> yeah. If you, if you were still here with me, we'd be looking around for that, but not a killer, not a murderer or anything. Who's Who's the asshole trying to just come gig me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm in my last month of uh, political office, which is, so I'm out as of May, the first week in May. I'm, I'm, okay. I guess I'm retired. Is that the right word? I guess. But aren't I, you going, isn't the cycle still going on? No, no. So, <clears throat> so the election was yesterday. My replacement has been elected. So okay. they get, Born in the first week of May, and then I, I, you just walk out of the building with your pink slip. I guess I've yeah. never done it before. I don't know. I mean, um, I'm not going to be mayor because I didn't run for re-election. So uh-huh. I'm, I'm gonna, on my obituary, <laughs> here's what I want you to say: Sean <laughs> Cunning, the best mayor of Vice that's ever existed. Yeah. Deal. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> I don't that say I was the mayor of Vice. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, it is. A, it's a good. It's a good title. Right. I mean, it doesn't that beat the shit out of Vice Mayor, which means you were second place to a job that probably didn't matter that much anyway. Sean, <laughs> Sean once you're dead, I'll probably put it on your tombstone where I will say Vice Mayor just so that it's a, a final kick in the nuts for you. <laughs> thing this guy ever did was vice mayor (laughs) (laughs) and an awkward interview with fox news Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) crazy 
but, but let's see what else is going on, man. Kids are same old shit. The uh, so for Mother's, I mean for Easter, okay, Easter holiday was this past weekend in America. Mm-hmm. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, my wife passed away a couple of months ago, so you try to do something special for the kids to kind of just get through the first holiday. Yeah. So we 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 go to this you know really nice brunch, which is like breakfast and lunch, but not really. It's just an excuse to drink before noon. Nah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> But the food was fabulous. And uh, and when I'm walking out of there, I'm like, God, thank God I didn't run to anybody I know. I mean, I ran into it, but they just gave you the English nod rather mm-hmm. than rather than bothering you, which I, I'm good with the English nod. Yes, I've acknowledged you're here. Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. Like, leave me the sorry. Um yeah. and I'm leaving and I run into actually some other lady who husband had died. So, you know, we long extended hug and you know, the whole the whole mm-hmm. game, as, we're waiting for the car. So, <laughs> <laughs> craziness, man. How the fuck did this happen in my life? Really? I know. Yeah. It... <laughs> Sean, it's like what you always told me. Everything's in a cycle. It just goes back, comes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, if, and it is true. In, in two more months, I'll be an absolute nobody again, and I'll be totally okay with it. Do you hear a beeper in the background? No. You get, we're going to have to pause for a second. I literally have to pull some bread out. Oh, okay? yeah. Your bread's ready. All right. <laughs> there you go. Apparently, now you can pause it and it doesn't just cut off completely. <laughs> no. So I do Facebook Live for one of our podcasts. Mm-hmm. And um, no, not Facebook, like TikTok. And if you go over 10 minutes, you lose the whole recording. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> And so I'm old and blind and I'm like this at the end of it. I'm like, what am I pushing? <laughs> and put the wrong button. I lose the whole thing. You have to put the arrow, which is only about this big instead of the circle, which is this big. <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay. So crazy Luke, not crazy Luke, Luke, my spiritual master friend, mm-hmm. um, will do come to India with me. Okay. And I just Luke. And uh, I was like, well, Luke, I'm going to run that by Deepak because, you know, I can't, I can't lose you over there. So I'm not, I'm not looking for you. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. He goes, well, he's wandering off. Um, he can look for Mother Teresa's spirit somewhere, but I can't, he'll get us into his situations. Um, but he goes, he goes, I want to go see um, Our Lady of Guadalupe. And I was like, Okay, I've been to this Mexican celebration for it a couple of times at a Spanish-speaking mass. Mm-hmm. And I go, where is Sean? It's in Mexico. How can, how do you call yourself Catholic? I'm like, <laughs> well, I don't. I've never, I've never once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And, yeah, and he goes, it's in Mexico City. And I go, oh, man, the pollution there is really bad. I don't know if I can travel down there with you. I mean, Mexico City is like, it's, it's smog. And for somebody like me, that's deadly. But I go... I'd be willing to fly in there for a day. And, and can we get in in a day or is it like uh, Mecca where you got to Yeah, it's circle. like an eight hour ride to get in there and then another eight hour waiting there and all of that. And, you know, like three days in. <laughs> yeah. And, and and I, you know, I just want to know the time frame. I'm, I'm not saying no. I just want to know the time frame. So mm. uh, he told me I'm in near need of spiritual guidance right now. Just Just want to let you know. All right, whatever. <laughs> to the podcast. <laughs> Way to bum me out on the podcast, Sean. <laughs> well, we won't get thrown off YouTube for that, I don't think. But... No, nah, not this time. All right. What else do you want to talk about? we got a few minutes here. Nothing as of now. I was about to head out to another meeting where I'm supposed to. Dude, can I tell you something really weird? Like I'm having the most miserable time training someone who's a year older than me in business development. Really? Yeah. 12 years experience. So I thought I don't have to do anything. But don't no, doubt. So, you know, I got lucky with Diana here because she's worked with me on and off for 15 years. Mm-hmm. And knows that I'm rigid about a few things and I'll give on a few other things. And I'm okay yeah. to new ideas, but I also need the just nuts and bolts of the business to be done every day and run, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's, that's, yeah, I don't, I don't know how you do it on yours because your name's on the door too. You're in the same boat I am. So if he screws up, 
And he's your age. Feel like I don't. It is a year older than me, and I'm still like, it's almost like I'm dealing with a fresh air because I'm having to like walk him through like basic stuff like, hey, you need to report, you need to communicate, you need to ask us questions. That way we know how to help you. And I'm like, yeah. why am I doing this? <laughs> and so I, what I run into is when I, when I get, um, you know, dishwasher stuff like that, generally a lot of times they're illiterate and I don't care. You know, you need to know the colors of the buttons and stuff like that. And I speak Spanish, you know, I mean, no big deal. They, um, they're afraid to talk to me. Hmm. And I don't, I don't know why. I mean, eventually they figure out I'm not out to get them or anything, but they are afraid to talk to me for some reason. Sometimes. Yeah. Hmm. And I don't even know what to tell you on that. I didn't even have a motivational video to send you on that one. <laughs> Nothing but Joey Diaz yelling at me. <laughs> I'm not telling Joey Diaz. I might get a little this morning before I go. So I'm going out to four different schools today, mm -hmm. and they're they're an hour and a half away so it's gonna it's gonna eat up the entire day and then yeah i got some other stuff tomorrow but I'm, I'm i'm burning the candle at both ends a little bit but once again i would say this to anybody listening burn them what else you have to do burn the damn candle man who cares trust me there will come a day you will wish you had done something <laughs> yeah <laughs> And um, and through it all, I don't feel special. I'm just, you know, it's just my time right now for a few minutes. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. So crazy stuff. I did. Uh, I had one of my old girlfriends texted me yesterday that I dated for like eight years through high school and college and, and very sweet, and very kind. But it's always been like a, a lower grade school teacher. So mm -hmm. she just sees life from a whole different level than you and I do in business. She yeah. sees everything is good and with positive qualities and you and i think most everybody's trying to rip us off <laughs> <laughs> well sooner or later though you know when, when when i'm back when i used to do mortgages i had a guy that worked for me that just couldn't i don't know what the deal was he'd, he'd have leads he'd have his work he'd have everything and then he just wouldn't finish mm -hmm. and i'd go look this is not grade school. I'm not grading you. You don't get paid if it doesn't get done. And I don't get my piece if you don't get it done. Yep. So you're wasting time. And mm -hmm. I don't have so much time. Yeah, that's crazy shit. See, weirdly I enough, my rules are similar to yours where I always tell them just two things you need to keep in mind. <laughs> don't let me get blindsided and don't waste my time. That's it. Besides that, you have to do whatever the hell you want. All right, brother, let's get out of here. Maybe we get there in October. Uh, yeah, you should, dude. So if we're roaming the countryside in October, um, where where do we where do we start? God, that's a big that's a very big country. Mm hmm. Depends on you. What do you want to see for sure? And what do you what are like options? So basically, I usually tell people from Oklahoma, give me a give me a list of the must sees and give me a list of you wish you could see that two type shit. Well, you know, you know, I'm only over there to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Big buildings before they don't impress me. So um, from I, now <laughs> till the rest of your life, <laughs> we will have I'm enough coming, things. <laughs> I want to look like Buddha by the time I leave. <laughs> Hell yeah.